There's a part in the brain that lights up when people take certain drugs. That same part lights up when you are into your music. One of the challenges of our modern times is the addiction to inappropriate and haram music and singing. It darkens the heart. It burdens the heart. Liberate your heart by breaking free from this addiction. So what are some of the negative consequences of listening to music constantly? Number one, music is an addiction. I've heard from many youth, they say when we were addicted music, we really did not realize how much time we spent listening to it. I'd sleep on it. I'd wake up with the ear pods in my ears. Many studies have shown that music addiction is like drug addiction in some ways. There's a part in the brain that lights up when people take certain drugs. That same part lights up when you are into your music. Now some people say, this makes me feel good. Why is it bad? Just like drugs. People who take drugs and they're high, it feels good, but then it has a long lasting impact. Music also impacts the spirituality, impacts your soul. Number two, the second effect of music is that it deflates your desire to worship the Almighty God. It awakens your carnal desires. It distracts you from God. Number three, the third consequence of listening to music is that most of the lyrics do not contain positive messages. According to one study, 70% of all songs had lyrics that made reference to violence, to drugs and alcohol, and to sex. This impacts your spirituality. Knowing these harmful effects, liberate your heart and break free from the addiction of music. Find other alternatives. Let your soul interact with the Holy Quran, with the supplications and the du'as of the Ahlul Bayt, with the beautiful sounds of nature. Have you ever heard a waterfall or the rain drops falling to the earth or a creek, a stream passing by? There are many alternatives that invigorate your soul and enliven your heart. Music is an addiction.